Welcome to an episode of Let's Code a Linux Network Driver. In today's video, I want to show you how to create a Hello World Linux Network Driver for our simple SPI Ethernet device set. But how can we define a Hello World Linux Network Driver? Well, I would say if the interface shows up if I'm running IP Link, we have a Hello World Linux Network Driver. And the second two things I want to do is if I run sudo link, sudo ip link set device name up and down, I can activate and deactivate or open and close the network interface. So these functionality I will want to build into our set driver. Good, so let me open up the source file for our set driver and let's start implementing our network driver here. The first thing I need is I need to include linux slash net um, device.h because in net device.h we can find all the structs and functions which we need for a networking device. And here in the private data for my set device I will create a new pointer which I will call struct net device net and this is a pointer to our networking device. Good. Then the next thing I need to do is I need to implement two functions. A function which will be called when we are opening the networking interface and a function which will be called when we are closing the networking interface. So for both functions the return value is an integer, zero on success, negative error code else. And the open function I will call set net open. And this function takes one argument from the type struct net device and this is a pointer to the networking device, which will be opened. So the first thing I will do is I will extract the private data from this networking device by using the functions uh, function um, net dev priv. And here I have to pass a pointer to the networking device. Then the next thing I will do is I will use dev info to print out a line with device information for our networking device and here I will just print out the function name. Okay. So we can see this function was called and then I will do one thing. I will call the function net if stop q and here I also have to pass a point to a networking device because the thing is when we're opening a networking device Linux thinks, hey cool, this device is now ready and I can start sending frames over it. But the problem is we haven't implemented any logic for sending the frames. So what I'm doing here basically is I'm stopping the queues which are needed for transmitting frames and if these queues are stopped, Linux knows, okay, I can't send any frames now. So I won't do it and this way maybe we can avoid some kernel panics for now. And Later, when we actually, um, when we have implemented the logic for transmitting frames, we can receive, uh, remove this here and in open we then have to set up the networking device to be able to send frames. Okay, and to be honest, um, the function for um, stopping the network interface looks very similar. So I will just print out something else here. Yeah, and that's basically it. So here I will also just print out one line to the kernels log so we can see this function was called. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to bundle the um, these network device operation in a struct called net device operations. And here I will create a new type of the struct with the name set net ops. And here I can set the NDO open function pointer to set net open and NDO stop I can set to set net release. Okay, good. Now here in the probe function, we now have to allocate memory for our new networking device. So here I will create a new struct from the type um, net device, which I will call net. And for a simple networking device, which should appear in our list of devices with the Ethernet or 
ETH um, name and a number. All I would have to do is I would have to call the function alloc etherdev. And to this function, I has, have to pass um, the size of the private data for our device. Okay, but as this function, what this function do is it's allocating the memory for the Ethernet device and the private data of the Ethernet device. It assigns a name to this networking device, which will be ETH and a number. And it will um, initialize all the fields of the struct net device, for example, the maximum transmit unit, which is protocol dependent. And for example, in Ethernet, I think it's 1,500 or around this. So it will all set these fields in the net, for net device. But the thing is, for example, if we have a different type of Ethernet device, we have to use another function instead, which I will use just for educational reasons here. And this function is called alloc net device. And this function needs some more arguments. So the second argument here is basically um, the name of the networking device, which will be which will appear when we're running IP link. And here I'm choosing set and percentage D will be substituted with the current count of set devices present in our system. So in our case, this will be substituted with set zero. The next argument is the name assigned type. So it's possible to use different networking names, which be maybe also be assigned by user space. But as I just want to use the name I've typed here, I will pass your net name unknown. And then an interface with the name set zero will appear when we're loading this driver. And the last function um, or the last argument here is a pointer to a function which will be called to initialize um, the networking device. And this function I will call set net init. And of course, I have to implement this function just in a second. And in case alloc net def or alloc ether def return a null pointer, we are out of memory and cannot allocate. Um, allocate them, or we don't have the memory for allocating the memory needed for the networking device. Okay, so now let me implement this um, set net init function. Here the return value is void, so we don't have a return value. And this function also has one argument from the type struct net device pointer net. Okay, and what we are doing here is also very similar. So I will use the function um, ether setup net to basically assign all the fields here in this net device like it would be done when I would have called alloc etherdev. Um, then let me use, or then we can specify the net, the operations for this networking device, which will be appointed to set net ops. And then I will use memset to initialize the private data with all zeros. And the last thing I will do is I will set in the priv field here, I will set this net pointer to my current networking device. And there is one more thing I will do. I will just print something out of the kernel's log so we can see this function was executed. Okay, good. So now we have successfully allocated memory for a networking device and we have initialized it with the set net init function. Because we also have allocated the memory for the private data, we don't need these lines of codes here, but instead we have to call the function net dev priv to get a pointer to, this, to the private data we have allocated. The rest is very similar, and I think I don't have to change much here. Yep, only this one here. So instead of just freeing the private data, you have we have to free the whole network device, and therefore we can use free net dev net here. And here I don't want to trigger the interrupt, so I will delete this three lines. And the last thing I have to do is I have to register the net device with the register net device function. And in 
case this returns a value not equal to zero, an error occurred. Okay, but else we can return a zero here. And in the remove function, of course, I have to use free net dev to free the memory from my networking device again, and I have to call unregister net dev to unregister my networking device here. Okay, so I think that should be basically it. Let me try to compile this program and let's see how much mistakes I've made. Okay, I have an unused variable here, but the rest is looking good. So let me fire up tmux to spawn a second window here. Then let's load our device tree overlay to add our set device to the system. And now let's try to load our networking driver. Okay, we can see the setnet init function was called and setnet open was also called. And if we're running IPL now, we can see we have a new interface called set0. And for if I'm executing IP link set, set0 down, you can see the setnet release function was called. And if I'm executing setnet up, you can see setnet open was called and if I'm removing the driver again, you can also see the remove and release function was called. And if I'm running IP link again, you can see the set device is now gone. Okay, cool. So that's how to write a simple Hello World Linux network driver. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.